Good evening, everyone. Our brand called Clashless. It's something to do with the Oyster card and the bank card. Do you know all the bank card at the moment are contactless? So when you tap into the train stations, rather than touching your Oyster card, you touch your bank card at the same time. That's my team, Asad, Jeremy, Oli, and Charlotte. I want to pass it to Jeremy, he's going to take you through about us, what we do. Okay, so essentially we're an organization that's looking to raise awareness and also prevent car clash. As Hater explained just now, on um, car clash, for those who don't know, is when basically you have your Oyster and your bank card usually stored in the same wallet, the same <coughs> pocket, and you tap onto the reader at the tube or the bus. And what happens is that both cards end up being deducted simultaneously, which is not good for the customer and either for TFL because they have to deal with the complaints and the customer dissatisfaction. Um, so our product is mainly focused for Oyster card users, which are many out there. They compound the majority of London. Um, and the issue is that approximately 70 million pounds have been deducted from Oyster card users, which is quite a lot. Um, so basically we want to offer customers convenience and safety and also prevent fraud and both cards being deducted. And we, we predict that in the future, um, contactless, this trend, is going to become more predominant because it's so efficient. <coughs> However, like I just said, the problem is that fraud also becomes, risks become higher, which is a big issue. Um, we have also started talking to Visa and we're starting out a deal with TFL, hopefully, because this is good for them and for us because we also diminish their customer satisfaction. Now I'm going to pass to Asad, who's going to explain better what yeah. our project is made of. Our product on the first glance looks just like an uh, ordinary card holder. On the one side, we've got the um, passive pocket, like let me just show you here, where you can put your ISA card. And on the other side, we've got a protective film, which is uh, made out of thick aluminium. This protective film uh, protects um, fraud and card clash, as Jimmy has said. Um, if you go to the next slide, we've got a demo of um, what the prototype is going to look like. Now, um, this product is not only um, to prevent card clash and um, fraud, it's also to bring convenience to the customer. So when um, I would be uh, going out, I only need the one way to get around and the other way to pay for my drinks and whatever I pay for. Whatever I pay for. And um, I don't need to change, I don't need my wallet or anything else. Um, so yeah, I'm now passing on to Oli. Um, to go through the so our, research. our primary research, our primary target will be women aged uh, 25 to 60. We found this by going to busy tube stations. We also put up and went to an individual tube station and we recorded how many people uh, went through uh, the textiles using which technique. So as you can see by the chart there, 52% of them use Oyster card holders. So that's why we chose the Oyster card holder to implement our uh, aluminium uh, design. Uh, we plan to target our audience by using direct sales at first, uh, and then as, as uh, we sell more and more, we're going to try and uh, target shops that surround um, uh, busy transport hubs, so news agents and off-licenses around busy transport hubs, and hopefully get them set up uh, right next to the till so people will see them, it'll be quite obvious what they do. Uh, we're going to set up a website, a website and also sell on Amazon and eBay. Hi, so I'm in charge of finance. Um, so we've done sort of an estimated value here. Um, we've also taken into account VAT and tax. Um, but we're making our project really special because 5% of what we earn is going to go to cancer research. But we're doing this because it is a massive problem for everyone and everyone's been affected by it. And we really would like to put something back in to um, society. Um, we are going to sell our product at £2 per unit and um, this per unit it costs 40 pence to actually make. Um, ideally we want to earn about 4000 and walk away with 1900 profit. Um, so any questions?